you guys i'm i decided to vlog a weekend in my life doing dry january and i was like this is gonna be so fun and awesome i can't wait anyways it's friday morning <laughs> And I, there was a lot going on, so I forgot to vlog because Brooke <laughs> hit her head on a cabinet and split open her head. We just spent the last hour at urging her <laughs> getting stitches for her. Um, I'll insert photos of the stitches here because I like hate anything blood when I saw her getting the stitches I literally hid in the corner like this like please don't let me see please don't let me see but she's good now Chris is gonna be here to watch over her to make sure she doesn't have a concussion <laughs> but I'll show you her head when she gets out so that is the start of my weekend in my life um, during dry January lots of exciting things <laughs> do you want to come show them your head <laughs> Here's Brooke. <laughs> Thank you. She just got so many stitches. She's like so brave in a sense where she just like, nothing phases her. Like she hit her head and was bleeding everywhere and goes, Chris, I think I did something bad. And he's like, there was blood all over the bathroom. There was a lot of blood. And I told Matt, cause it starts up here that it was just like, <laughs> There's still some in my shower. <laughs> but the scar is gonna be right on her hairline. Yeah, She's awesome. so lucky that it's not gonna like scar her face. I've never had stitches before. Oh, dude, it was so scary to watch. It was so scary. Thank you for taking care of Yeah, me. duh. I forgot how amazing having a tripod on my windshield is. It makes everything so easy. I can talk forever long I want without worrying if the car's gonna move the camera all over. So yeah, anyways. Um, Brooke is fine, thank goodness. Um, but I am leaving and Brooke and Chris will be home in LA. Look at the new Twin Flame sweatshirt. Isn't this such a beautiful color? It is part of our chromatic collection and this color will be released soon, but it is so pretty. I've always wanted to do like a red of some sort, like a burgundy, um, auburn, maroon vibe. And this is perfect. I will not be taking it off. And I say that with really everything we make, which is so nice. I am on my way to the airport. I have a disease where I have to get on flights all the time because I just need stimulation. So I'm flying to Arizona again. I did just get back on Monday, but my brother got tickets to the Miami Heat Phoenix Suns game. And he is the biggest Miami Heat fan ever. Like absolutely insane about them. And he knows I'm such a big Suns fan. So he got tickets like so long ago and I've been begging him to take me. And before I leave on Monday, I'm like, I don't have to leave. Like I can stay. And he's like, stop. Like you're not going to the game, blah, blah, blah. He calls me last night at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Hey, how do flights look? And I'm like, oh, are you coming to LA? Like, cause the NCAA football championships are happening. And he said he was gonna come for it. He goes, no, to Phoenix. And I go, what? And he's like, you're coming to the game with me. And I go, shut up. Like, no way you call me at 10 p.m. and I have to get on a flight tomorrow. But yes, Dell, I'll be there. So I'm literally flying to Phoenix. It is 1.10, my flight's at three. I land, I am gonna get ready, put my makeup on, do my hair, and then I am going to go to the game, gonna go to bed, and my flight home is at seven in the morning because I have a full day tomorrow in LA, but I've been so excited about this game, so I'm gonna do anything in my power to make it work. I actually posted a TikTok the other day of me going on a Southwest flight to keep my A-list, and I know everyone's like annoyed with Southwest for canceling flights, but I will forever be the biggest Southwest fan. Sue me, I love them. And anyways, they saw my TikTok and they were like, oh my gosh, love this, DM us. 
So I DM them. They follow me on TikTok. They follow only 22 people and I'm one of them. <laughs> okay, love you even more. And they were like, thanks for being such a Southwest supporter. We'd love to get you uh, started on your 2023 uh, flights and trips. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. So they sent me points. So I'm actually using the points that Southwest gave me to fly home for this game. So the, I'm really putting them to work January 6th, so thank you. But we are heading out to the airport, not wait, I'm heading out to the airport right now. It's gonna take me like 40 minutes to get there. I'm flying on a Burbank because they just had the best times. I'm gonna park my car there because it's just so easy to park my car there. And send the game. So missed my family, missed Momo. So I get to see him in two hours. Momo, say hi. Hi. Goodbye. We made it home. Hello. And now I'm gonna get ready for the game because I don't have much time. And we're gonna eat there. My brother's waiting for me, so I have to run, but I'm doing this top, these cargoes, dunks, and a black leather. and it's changing the game for literally everything. Like, I used to vlog in such bad light. Now you can see everything. Anyways, we just got back from the game. It's so late. It's 11.30 and I'm exhausted. I actually drove Brooke's little brother home from the game because they have season tickets and they were above us and he asked for a ride home. So I drove him and his friend and then my brother um, cause like I said, <laughs> I'm doing dry January. My brother got these tickets cause he loves the heat so much. And, um, they had like valet. So we literally pull up the, they take our car right up the front. We go right downstairs into like this club level and it has like free alcohol, like literally 1942. And I'm like, why can't I drink right now? And free food, like I was eating steak and they had dessert and it was just like so nice and you just walk right out. I think I filmed it, but you just walk right out of the lounge onto the court and it was crazy and we were right next to the heat bench. And like I said, my brother's obsessed with them. So it was really cute to see him just like so happy near them and I loved it. Um, but it was so much fun. The Suns did lose though, but whatever. And yeah, I'm exhausted now. My flight is at 7 a.m., 7.50 a.m. So I have to leave here at 6.50 because I didn't check, so I don't need to get there super early. But I'm gonna go home tomorrow and take a nap and then I have a fun day tomorrow as well. So yeah, I must go to bed. Good morning. I woke up at six this morning and Mama's came and woke me up too. And I was literally hanging with the Mama and my parents on the couch. And they're like, don't leave yet. And I was like, let's see if there's a later flight. And I checked and there was one at 10. So I moved my flight back and then my mom, Mama, and I took a nap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> took a nap on the couch for two hours. And now it's time to leave. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. What's going on? She's insane. Ins <laughs> so now I'm officially packing to leave. Goodbye. But I was so tired. I only got like five hours of sleep and then we took a two hour nap. And I'm packing. I just packed up and I, I'm going to walk out the door and it says now boarding and I was like what? What do you mean now boarding? 
My flight was at 10.10, not 10.50. So, I left Southwest because I can change it. So I just changed my flight to a 12.05 that stops in Vegas. I change planes and then I get on a flight from Vegas to Burbank. Because I have a tea time today. It's at 3.30. And the only non-stop got in at 3.30. So I'm getting to Burbank at 2.20. So now that I have an hour to kill, my mom and I are gonna go take my mom on a walk to LGO, my favorite place, and get breakfast, and then my dad's gonna pick us up, and then we're gonna drop my mom back up here, and then I'm gonna go to the airport. You guys, I had to land in Vegas, and I am, um, I'm at a slot machine. Oh, I just lost 20 bucks. Okay, that was awesome. We just landed in Burbank. I'm picking up my car and now I'm driving home. But here's a little sequence of today's events. I, my mom and I took Momo on a walk. Momo poops, gets tangled up in her leash. I go to release her, like free her, and then she steps in her poop while stepping on her leash, and then she has poop all over her, which ended up in getting poop all over me, and so she got poop all over my sweatpants, all over my hands, and I was like, that's not fun for me, babes. And so I left my sweatpants at home and I had to wear jeans. And I wore them unbuttoned the whole way home because I could not sit on two flights to LA in jeans. And these are very uncomfortable jeans as well. And then I got to Vegas. Oh, I missed all my flights this morning. So I got to Vegas and I bet $20 like you saw, I won $3. So I didn't cash it out because I was too embarrassed to go to the front and say, can I please have $3? So anyways, got on the plane, just landed. I am a, a wee bit hungry and I'm gonna go play golf right now. So Brooke, Chris, and I have a tea time at 3.30. I'm getting home right at three. I need to quickly change. I'm gonna eat a quick snack. And then we're gonna play a golf course that we've never played, but I drive by all the time. It's called Rancho Park. Uh, we'll see how it is, but I'm very excited to go do that. So that's my, that's my morning. And now it's 2.20. So I feel like I've lived a, a full 24 hours, but it's really only been Awake. We've got the whole team. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good pace. Good pace. Good job, Brock. The people in front of us are so slow. This is also such a weird course to play at. Way to go. Seems like it could have gone further. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Queen. Holy shit, man. You guys, Brooke's insane now. Know. We're also playing literal night golf. I didn't see shit. I have it locked on. You might hit that airplane. <laughs> You're right. We're gonna love it. <laughs> I know that's my favorite angle because you can't see how anything goes. That sounded flush. It was a, uh, it was a crest. Okay guys, we just finished golf. It was pitch black by the time we got done. It's freezing. And now we're gonna go try Dobrex, which none of us have had it before and I'm really excited to try it. It's like a focaccia pizza, which I don't know 
if that's gonna be amazing or not amazing. You tried that, Brooke? What's your take on that? My anticipation is that it's gonna be amazing. Really? Yeah. Okay. Like, you know how sometimes the crust is dry and different from the pizza? Yeah. Or whatever. No, this is gonna just flow right in. I think I want the vodka one. Or Do you pepperoni know? and honey all day. True. Oh. Have to. What are you guys talking about? You guys, I got a pepperoni with honey pizza in Arizona for Christmas. And my whole family, like cousins, aunts, uncles, were all like, is that like an LA thing? Like putting honey on your pepperoni? And I was like, no, it's a delicious Why thing. Why don't you try one singular bite? Yeah, and everyone loved it. And I was like, don't ever. It's also a thing. Yeah. And then I realized maybe it's not. I mean, I just think that... No. It's called artisan pizza, so... Period. Now that's a good looking pizza. Are you gonna put honey on it first? Um, maybe one without. Okay. Right off the bat, I love that it's cupped. Mm -hmm. Pepperonis. Yeah, I'm mucking that up all the time. That is so fucking good. That's so dank. That is so good. I love the bread. Me too. Me too. This is a spicy vodka. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! That was a ranch. Rich girl. consensus, good job, David. Really fucking good. I love a doughy pizza. Holy nut. Holy nut. We finished dough bricks. It was so good, you guys. I like. I didn't think I was gonna like it because it was like a focaccia bread, focaccia bread, but I freaking loved it. It was amazing. I feel so disgusting now and I'm getting ready to go to an event with Becca. <clears throat> I am her plus one and we are going to like a pre CF CFB playoff party for like for the Texas or for the TCU game. It's the NCAA championship, but I'm calling it the TC game. Um, and it should be fun. It's downtown. I am going to drive because I'm doing dry January, so I am going to be a sober sister for the night. It's so fun. Love it. And it should be cool. My Posner is performing. That is my little brother's favorite artist. Like, he is obsessed with my Posner, so I have to send him videos of him singing. Um, but it seems like it's gonna be a really cool event. I'm really excited to go. I'm happy Becca is taking me with her. I feel like I am the perfect person to bring because I love sports and football and I don't know, it just seems fitting, you know? The attire for tonight is business casual slash cocktail. I have no idea what to wear. I am so pale, I haven't shaved my legs. I'm just like wet and I like haven't washed my hair in like five days. <laughs> I just feel like so gross and I just didn't have time to like do anything after golf and like all of my flights today. So we're gonna have to try to make this work. I feel crazy. <sighs> I haven't done like a darker eye in a while. So we're gonna do a darker eye. Bro, I keep asking Becca like when we're gonna go and she doesn't fucking answer me. I am about to leave. Focus. I'm about to leave. I did my makeup. I'm wearing Brooks lace bodysuit and the attire's business casual and I think I'm too business. But Becca said she's wearing the exact same thing as me. She copied me. So I'm gonna go pick her up because I don't wanna Uber all the way downtown. And so yeah. Okay, I'm with Becca. Hello, everyone. And we're going to this event. And okay, actually, what I was gonna say earlier is when I called Natalie and I was like, where are you going? They were like, it's an ESPN party. 
ESPN. And I was like, the Allstate one downtown? And they were like, yeah, but it's like ESPN. And so I think it's like really, really big. Oh my God, wait, I don't even know. Like, are the football players gonna be there and stuff? No way, they have to sleep. Right? I don't know the rules about football. <laughs> <laughs> I think they for sure won't be there, but I think like really high profile people will be. Also, Becca and I are wearing the same outfit. I copied, it's my fault. I also almost wear those earrings that you were wearing really? too. Yeah, and I was like, I'm gonna wear the other hoops that they gave me. Becca and I went to an event the other day and we both got earrings. Well, okay. And I always wear those. In my defense, usually what I do is I wait for Nat to finish getting dressed and then I ask what she's wearing and then I copy whatever she's wearing. I'm not even kidding. Just a little. Today I went a little too far because I really <laughs> copied every single element of her outfit. But also, Becca woke up at 8.30. I, I took so a nap. So she, I am giving you whatever. You I had to copy. starting from scratch. Yeah. Getting ready with. Well, you look stunning. So do you. No, stop. This took Maybe we'll so meet many our hours. husbands tonight. Who knows? Our soulmate's gonna be there. I have a feeling. Right? Let's manifest it. Okay. Is it weird? Lucky girl being... syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> everything happens for me. Everything good happens for me. Everything, everything is always working sober? out for me. Like, are you nervous to be sober? No, I'm kind of stoked on it. Is this your first event, sober? No. I should have pre gamed. No, you didn't? But... <laughs> no, I didn't. I actually I was gonna sober. bring you a drink. What? <laughs> You're just like. I Getting was. Getting drunk and then you'll be sober. Yeah, I like being your DD. Yeah, it is kind of nice having a driver right now. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm your private driver tonight. <laughs> you guys, Becca has to walk this carpet. <laughs> Are you such a great performer, he was so nice, um, but it was so fun. It's kind of fun being sober at events, try it. It kind of sucks a little, in a sense where like I want to drink with everybody, but it's kind of fun. Good morning, I slept in until noon. It felt so amazing, and Brooke usually wakes me up, so I actually texted her last night when I got home, and I was like, please don't wake me up. I'm so tired, and she followed through and it was very kind, but you know, you really did because you were just on the phone with Chris and you're like, did you land? And I was like, oh. you got on a flight from here and landed already. Anyways. He go, I go, Nat's asleep. He said, isn't it 12 there? <laughs> uh, Brooke and I decided to have breakfast here this morning. We're going to watch NFL. We are in the finals of our fantasy football and I was so confident going into this. I was like, I'm gonna win. And then last week, there was a blip. Um, and Brooke is really projected to win, and I'm really upset about it. But for lack of a better word, I'm kicking ass. For lack of a better word, shut up. <laughs> like, it's actually really sad. I did not think I would lose to Brooke. It sucks because Nat's been dominating our league the whole season. Except for last week. Like, it's been insane. I, like, have been unstoppable. <laughs> and I've Almost been stopped. That's really annoying me, so. Yeah. Like, Nat's on an eight-game win streak. Okay. <laughs> like, no one's even close. No. So, anyways, I'm, like, really upset about it, but whatever. Anyways, we decided to eat breakfast here. And then we're gonna have a very chill day, and then we're gonna go to Alethea's and make vision boards tonight. And I'm really excited about that. I did make one already on my phone 
for like my screen savers, which I really love. It makes me so happy every time I look at my phone and my background. But we're gonna do like a physical one and like cut stuff out of magazines and I think it'll be really cute and fun. They did it last year together, but I was still in Arizona when they did it, so I'm excited to partake in that fun today. But this morning I'm gonna have this jam. Brooke, look at the piece of toast Brooke left me. Like, what is this? Um, me again. Every day Nat eats toast and every day those pieces look like that. But they're not jagged. Like, they're not separate. But I'm telling you, I cut it to fix your mistakes. Oh. Uh, so, essentially it's what you're doing. Thanks, yeah. Anyways. And then I'm gonna have an orange. My family has an orange tree and they are the best oranges in the entire entire world. I'm not even joking. So I'm like really excited to eat this and think about my home. My home. <laughs> Brooke and I are getting magazines. <laughs> we went to the first newsstand, got four, kind of all really whack ones. They didn't have any Tumblr magazines. No. I was so surprised. Yeah. So now we're going to Target. Hopefully they have anything. I'm prepared to spend a hundred dollars. <laughs> we are not the same. Last year I think I literally spent ninety dollars on magazines. Brooke. My vision board sat in my closet all year. <laughs> I actually was gonna take it out though because it was my background. I was gonna see how much came true. You should. Yeah. I did it with mine really? from last year. Did you get a lot of them? Uh, not a lot of money ones, but <laughs> hey, the knowledge thing definitely thing. got a lot of knowledge. Um, that's about it. <laughs> um, my skin's better. I remember putting good skin. Good. I put that on my new one. I put a kiss on my new one. Maybe I'll get kissed. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys want to watch the original Matilda? Yeah. So we can watch her do a little bit of this. <laughs> oh, oh shit! There's all the cookies. Did we get all of them? This is the tiniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it is so small. <laughs> it's like a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> What? It's leaking. I know. I know in the bottom. Oh, I love this. I love this scene. Oh, Ooh, that's the one that's That's leaking. what I'm talking about. She's doing this. Literally. <laughs> Ew. It was happening. Oh, oh. oh my god. god. <laughs> this mini oranges Ooh. to signify my orange tattoo. Cute. You can cut out like a couple of them. Yeah, and like paste oh, them. Yeah. Did anyone watch the meal? Literally, so fucking hot. No, what? I did. I want to watch it. It's on HBO now. I was like, that sounds wrong. Okay, other movies like Walk Walk Marie. Walk Sleepover. She's the man. Sister. Sleepover. Sleepover. Sister of the traveling pants. I watched that one. The traveling pants. You watched that? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't even watch it anyway. Please look at how stunning Alethea's is. What the fuck is that? Literally, what the fuck is that? What are the birds? What are the birds? So be. We just got home from Alethea's and it's like a little past 10. Usually whenever we go to Alethea's, it's like a pit of time and I just... Like, it feels like you're there for an hour and you end up being there until like 1 a.m. It makes no sense. So we actually got out of there pretty early, which is really nice. And I, like, I'm going to put my vision board under my bed because I like the one I did for my desktop and my phone so much more than this one. It's like really just so embarrassing. And I'm going to put it under my bed and I'm going to laugh at it in 365 days. So that's going to be a funny thing to look forward to. As of right now, I was gonna end the vlog here because it's a weekend during dry January, but I am going to the college football playoffs tomorrow since they're in LA and I'm so excited. So I will actually vlog a little bit tomorrow and I just have like Pilates in the morning and then I'm gonna go to work 
and then the game is at 4.30. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna leave over here around like 3, 3.30. So it should be really, really fun. I'm rooting for TCU, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get ready for bed because I'm exhausted, even though I slept so much. I guess I went to bed so late, so I kind of canceled out. But Brooke and I also went to Barnes & Noble to get magazines for the vision board planning, and I got two new books. I'm so excited to read this Jeanette McCurdy, I'm Glad My Mom Died, and the Emily Ratajkowski, My Body. I've heard great things about both of them, and I haven't really read like a autobiography in a sense in a long time, so I am excited to read both of these. I think I'm gonna start with this one because I know Keaton wants to read it and I'm gonna let her read it once I finish. Happy Monday! I had Pilates this morning. I went to go work at Soho House. It is pouring rain. And now I need to get ready for the game. It is, I'm gonna be picked up in like an hour. And I already did my base makeup because I wanted to look somewhat presentable at Soho. But now I need to add eyes and I need to figure out what I'm wearing. And I might be wearing a, or like, purple amethyst twin flame sweatshirt and then I think I'm just gonna wear all black below that but we'll see but I'm gonna keep my hair up I haven't washed my hair in six days disgusting and I think I'm gonna like braid the front pieces because those are like kind of beat too so <laughs> that's my plan we're gonna be very casual for this game we are at the game let's go <laughs> 